Hello guys, welcome back to Thoughtology. This is lesson eight. Um, I'm here with my friend Jax. Jax, give him the lash plug. Steppers by Jax, LLC. LLC. The important bitch part. So yeah, we are gonna be talking about a lot of different things um, today, like we always do. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm Mariah Malabuji, but who cares about that, not me. So um, last episode, we started talking about the signs that we find annoying and I am not done talking about that so she was serious when I'm really serious about it guys I don't care what anybody thinks like mm -hmm. when a guy's like oh were you into astrology I'm like you know what you're a Virgo you would say that that's a really bad example because Jax is a Virgo but, but Virgos uh, are hit and miss remember Virgos are hit or miss listen I either love a Virgo or I hate them there's really there's really no in between it's just like me like you either love me or you absolutely hate me. You might meet me and be like, you know what, I don't like that bitch. And then like three weeks later, you know, like, oh, I really fuck with that bitch. Hey Jeff, oh, you're recording me? Hi, miss you. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about, let's talk about signs. Cause I'm, I'm ready to, I'm really ready to rip on this because. I feel like you know a lot more about this than I do. Like, I don't know a couple things, you know. Wait, like, what's Jeff? Jeff's a Virgo too. Jeff's a, a double Virgo couple? I oh. My gosh. Okay, that's crazy. We're very alike. That blows my mind. Michael, what are you? Virgo. You're a Virgo too? Ah! I hate uh, this. I literally wait. Right. What's ask Sam what his birth sign is? Mine. Huh? Mine. Leo. That makes sense. I can see Sam as Leo. Confident, confident leader, quiet but confident. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So I can't even believe that there's three Virgos in this building right now. That literally blows my mind. Also, I just Virgo, met, gang, gang. I just met, listen, I just met <laughs> a guy the other night. He was super cool, but he was a Virgo. And then I met a guy the other day and he was a Virgo. And I was just like, what's going on here? I feel like this is because I've been talking mad shit about Virgos for a while. It's not mad shit. It's just like with, it's like a hit or miss, you know, it and is. it is, it, it really, it is. really is I, because just like Sagittarius, listen, Sagittarius says we get a bad rap for a lot of different reasons, but like. Sagittarius's annoy a lot of people so that's I just like that. you like you'd be like listen a Sagittarius it's hit or miss okay so like for mm -hmm. me okay well what do you what signs do you know how about that let's start with that because I know a lot more like um literally like Libra Virgo Aquarius uh, uh I mean I feel that's like the ones you do like I feel like I I feel like I know more of the like after August I don't, feel, I don't feel like I know January through, like, July. Okay, so we have, let's see if I can do them in order. I don't think I can, but we're going to try. So Capricorn, Capricorn is January, well, it's December and January, and then you have Aquarius, and then you should have, I think, Aries, and then after Aries, you should have Taurus, and then after Taurus, ooh, is that Cancer? I think it's Cancer, wait, is, is it Taurus, Cancer? Leo, and then I think after Leo, it's Virgo, right? Is Leo before me? Uh, Leo's in July. I mean, I'm not the right person. Leo is that. end of July, so then August, August would be, what's August? What? Michael, what sign is August? Huh? August. Oh, Leo. Okay, so I, Leo. yeah, so Leo, and then it should be, it should be Virgo, and then it should be Libra, Libra and then it should be... Scorpio. Yeah, he's Scorpio. And Scorpio then there. Sagittarius. Is that all? That's all of them, right? And then there's Ophetius, but we won't get into that. It's the 13th. What is that? So Ophetius is the 13th is sign of babies? Like Pretty much. I'm actually, technically speaking, I'm an Ophetius. But so Ophetius is the 13th sign of the zodiac, and it falls between, I forget the dates, but it's like a very, it's like, <clears throat> it's like 12 days between, at like the end of, uh, uh, what's it? The end of November into December. Right, so it's like the smallest, but they got rid of it, like calendars, whatever. Calendars, stars, whatever. But Ophetius is the only sign that's uh, based on a person and not like a constellation, technically. Okay. But anyway, okay, so. I'm learning about this. It's yeah, great. yeah. So, I mean, I don't know everything, but I, I know more than probably, you know. But y'all know. The average person. Virgo gang, gang. So, okay. yeah, listen, if I was going to describe a Virgo right now, I'd be like, y'all are very <laughs> detail oriented. 
and like don't leave specific. a specific yeah specific don't leave a fork in their sink okay because they're gonna let you know about but, it like that yeah. kind of thing um but also and just, fun outgoing yeah they are there's a lot of great things about them driven. but yeah they're driven and they don't take any bullshit like they don't take any bullshit there's this one girl i met at work that's a virgo though and i can't stand her and i'm just like you're not even a good virgo like, you're, yeah like you're, 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 you're a shitty virgo you just like to listen to yourself talk and nobody it's not like me like you're not entertaining people okay I'm yeah like, nobody likes to talk but um so yeah so that's your virgo kind of person and then like um Scorpios, I feel like they can be hit or miss. Scorpios get such Scorpions. a bad rap, though. They, they really they do. They fucking do. Our friend Liz is a Scorpio, and we love her. She's our little emo Scorpio. Shout lady. out Cheeks. Cheeks a Scorpio. Yeah, we, yeah, we, love, we, Scorpio love, our, we love our little Scorpios. But um, the worst signs, <sighs> Gemini gets a really bad rap. Ew. Gemini gets a really bad rap, and that's because people think that they're two-faced, but in reality, they're just extremely indecisive. But... Most of the time, if I find out that it's somebody's a Gemini, I'm just like, oh god. I have one friend that's a Gemini, and I'm I have like, I like one or two. I'm like, but but knowing him as well as I know him, I'm like, you're not two faced. You're just indecisive. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like changes with the wind, you know. And then um, let's see other signs that get a really bad rap. Cancers. Well, cancers kind of deserve it, especially cancer men, in my opinion. So my stepmom is a cancer and cancers are very, they're very caring and they're very nurturing and they're homebodies. So like they like to be at home. They like to be in their little cave, you know, they thrive with their family and things like that. But you make a cancer mad, especially cancer men. Cancer men are very manipulative. And I've heard a lot of bad things about cancer. Yeah. In men. If you look through like things like, oh, like who fucked you over? Like cancer man, like cancer. Because Justin LA boy. Who the fuck runs that account? They, they're manipulative, yeah. so they're manipulative. One, they need attention. They need attention and they don't care where they get it, okay? They need attention. Um, they, they're going to try to make you think everything's your fault all the time. And, like, they're big into, like, guilt trips and stuff. And that doesn't work with somebody like me because I'm just, like, I'm going to fight your guilt trip with logic and that's not, it's not going to work. But, uh, cancers get a bad rap. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, other signs. Sagittarius, we get a bad rap, like... People say we like to travel all the time, and I'm just like, mm, it, do we like to travel, or do we just want to get up and, and leave all of our crap and go somewhere? Like, that's different, you know? But Sagittarius says we're known to be, like, obnoxious and, you know, loud and, and all these other things. But I would say probably, like, my pet peeve is, so you have your, you have your earth signs, you have your air signs, you have your water signs, and then you, and then you have your fire signs, right? So what, Virgo is a, is that, a, is that an air sign? That's an earth sign. I want to say earth. I think you're an earth sign. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're basically like your fire signs are usually going to get along well with your air signs, you know, and then your water signs are probably going to get along better with your, like your earth signs in my opinion. This is all my opinion guys. It's conjecture from things that I know and the things that I've witnessed. So calm down. Don't come at me crazy. But, um, water signs are so emotional. So like water signs for me, I'm just like, bro, but they try to hide it too. Like they're very... Water signs are passive, in my opinion. So, like, they don't, they're not, like, um, they might get emotional about something, but they're not going to just, like, be confrontational with you. Like, like, a fire sign is confrontational. And for us, we don't even realize we're being confrontational because I'm just, like, I'm not even, be, I'm just having a conversation. Like, I don't even, and, like, my water sign friends are, like, well, I'm, like, I have this, I have this friend. She's just, like, well, my roommate's been annoying me for, like, two years. But, like, I just, I just, I'm, like, she does this one thing. And I was, like, well, why don't you just tell her? And she's like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I'm like, wait, you've been letting her annoy you for two years and you've never said anything? And she's like, no. Like, I'm just like, bro, that would have gone, like, four days without me. I'd just be like, yo, yeah, clean, up, no. clean up your shit. Like, you know, whatever. But um, water signs, in my opinion, they're more passive. But the thing about water signs is they're more passive, but they're also, like, they will go behind the scenes to, like, fuck your shit up. Instead of just, like, having an argument with you, they're like, oh, you made me mad and you hurt my feelings? Well... Now I'm going to fuck your entire life up. So, so within the, the months of like, you know, Virgo, Libra, whatever, inside that, you're also like another sign, like water sign and all that stuff. Yes. And so then you, inside that. I, well, so you, I break it down, you break it down even further. Okay. So you have, like, you have what's, your, what's a druid? I don't know what a druid is, but let me, let me tell you what I do now. Okay. So you have your, you have your earth signs, you have your water signs, you have your fire signs and you have your air signs. Okay. And then you, 
you, all the signs break down into that. So like Leo, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, those are all fire signs, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have your earth signs. So I think that that's, that's I know Capricorn is, a, is an earth sign. Um, I'm just going to go on the ones that I know for sure. Cancer is a water sign. Scorpio is a water sign. Pisces is a water sign. Aquarius, people think Aquarius is a water sign. It's not. It's actually an air sign. Libra is an air sign. And then what is our other air sign? Um, I'm trying to think. What are, what are we missing? We're missing like two, three. What are we missing? Taurus. Taurus is a, I think it's an earth sign. We're missing Taurus. Um, whatever. But the, you break down into that, right? And then you go even further than that, right? So you you use your like the time that you were born. And like guys, I heard about that time you're listen, born. we're not saying this is a science, like this is not you yeah, know I was gonna ask about like do you do you believe horoscopes and like whatever so size to, I really depict how you are. I just them? think it's funny and I get people that get so heated about this. And, and <laughs> yeah, honestly people, are people, have, people have gotten so crazy with me about it that I've just decided to learn more about it and men hate it. They're just like, Ugh, you're one of those girls and I'm just like, mm, that's such an Aquarius thing for you to say. But that's not true because Aquariuses are like I love Aquariuses. They're like the little aliens of the zodiac and they're very like the ones that I know at least they're very like eco friendly and like they, they just they're, they're 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 like the creators, you know, so I like Aquarius. But basically, so you take the time that you were born and the location that you were born, and then you can break it down even further into your birth chart, right? So then, like, for example, um, I am, you have your moon, and then you have your ascending sign, and then you have your sun sign, right? So your sun sign is, like, your true self, I guess, and then your ascendant is, like, what people perceive you as, and then your moon sign is, like, your feelings, right? So I am, a, I'm a Sagittarius sun, I'm a Capricorn ascendant, and I am a Aries moon. So, like, when people meet me, they see more of, like, my Capricorn side, right? Which mm -hmm. is more, like, I'm a little bit more logical. I'm a little bit more, like, I'm not going to take your bullshit. Like, I am, you know, oriented. Just like you said, you're, like, when we were talking about, like, career stuff and, like, success, you were just, like, you, you, what did you see? You were, like, you're I very. I knew what I wanted. You, yeah, you, but you, you said this thing about me, and I can't remember what it was. You were just, like, you know what you're going to do when you're going to do it. And, like, you have, like, priorities, right? Yeah. That's the Capricorn side of me, right? And then my friends know me more as, like, the psychotic fire sign who's just like, hey, guys, like, let's drop all of our shit and, you know, go on a random adventure at 2 o'clock in the morning or, like, you know, whatever. And, like, we don't like to be, um, it's, we're fire signs. We can't be, you can't box in fire. Like, you can't do it. Like, we don't like to be told what we're going to do when we're going to do it, whatever. And then your moon sign is your feelings. So, oh, pull up your thing. I want to see what your your things are. Oh, it was it was just a druid, like. A, does it tell you? A druid. Does it tell you? But like, does it tell you what your moon sign and stuff is? Um, yeah, I think it just tells you see. like. Druid means like you have there's apple tree, ash tree, beech, oh, I have birch, no idea what that fig means. Fig tree, jasmine. I think it's more like a horoscope. Okay. But it so, also has to do. Yeah, your moon sign. That's like your feelings and stuff like that, and like, that's like your inner the self. The Chinese yearly. Mm, okay. It's like. It's like an app that I downloaded a long time ago that I never used, but... But here's my opinion, all right? You have, like, your you have your matches or whatever. Like, in my opinion, if you're a fire sign, you should be with an air sign, okay? Because what does air do? Feeds fire, you mm -hmm. know? So, that like, that's what I've been told. You should be with, like, an air sign or something like that. So, like, I should be with, like, an Aquarius or, like, a Libra, even though I can't stand Libras. And, sorry, I'm going to meet somebody and they're going to be like, I heard what you said on Thoughtology about how you can't stay on Libra. Stop taking stuff so personally, all right? That's such an air sign thing for you to do, okay? Stop taking it so yeah. fucking... Every, air signs take things personally, okay? It's not personal, it's business, and it's fact, okay? That's why they can't fuck with the fire signs. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, and then, you know, I just, I'm whatever. Fire, water signs are just emotional, and I'm just honestly, I can't. Like, I'll never date a water sign again. I dated a Pisces. I dated two Pisces. I was just like, bro, I can't. Yeah, if y'all don't know much about this, like, these signs and stuff, visit Justin LA Boy on I'm gonna Instagram, have to and he will tell you the real tea on on these on these freaking signs. Okay. Because this is the thing too. He got you. I'm sorry. I wouldn't look so much into it if I didn't find so much of it to be true, honestly. With the guy, with the people that I've dated and like the people in my life and stuff like that, like like for example, like like Liz, right? Like when I met Liz, I was like, Liz is like so hardcore and like you know whatever. And I, I was like, Liz is a savage. 
And one day I was like, Liz, you're such a savage. And she was like, what? She was like, no, I'm not. She was like, you are. But it's funny. It's funny to me because Liz is more like a, we always make jokes and like, I like the like the lavender -y and like, you know, the, mm -hmm. the free flowing, like whatever, you know? And Liz is like, um, she's like, I'm the emo, like punk one. Right. But it's funny because she was like, you're more savage than I am. She was like, you're, she was like, I think I'm a little bit softer than you, but she was like, people don't think that's true because of how I present myself, you know what I'm saying? And like when I when I met Liz, like I was like, Liz is like way harder than I am, you know? And she's like, no, that's yeah, Liz that's is an angel. She is an angel. We love her. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? Anyway, so that's that's your astrology, okay? Check your fucking horoscope and yep. listen. Don't Just download that. Don't be a dick. Don't, like, blame your fucking behavior on your sign, okay? Like, just know that there's things that you can learn from every sign. And, yeah, and you can't really talk shit because I used to hate Capricorns, and I kind of still do sometimes. Um, but I have a stellium in Capricorn, and that means I have four houses in Capricorn, which means, like, I exhibit a lot of Capricorn traits. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, I've got Aquarius in my chart. I've got a bunch of different things in my chart. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, look into that stuff because I'm telling you right now, uh, you could fix a lot of things in your life by just being like, mm, he's a fucking Pisces and that's why this is not working out. Also, cancers have a very, very weird relationship with their mothers. Okay. Let's just touch on that. Okay. Like they either love their mothers or they hate their mothers. And sometimes it's both. So good luck with that. Um, we're also going to talk about drunk stories today since we're talking about, you know, birthdays and, um, when you All were born. Fun. Um, I started thinking that me and Jack should talk about some of our drunk stories. So last year, I went to Rose Bar. I went to Rose Bar for my birthday, and I got super drunk with my friend Good Kiara time. and my friend Sarah. I don't know how I got home. And two days later, well, first I had to go to the hospital the next day because I get, you know, terribly dehydrated. And then, like, two days later, my ex was, like, taking care of me. And I was like, babe, like, my back hurts. Like, I was like, I don't know what is going on. And he turned me around, and he was like, Mariah, did somebody put a cigarette out on your back? I had oh a burn. My I had a burn on my back. And I was like, oh, yeah. I bumped into a hookah. And then, like, I knocked it over. Like and the coals. Them oh, yeah. I, I have well. a scar. I, I actually literally, do have a scar. I from hookah too, literally have a scar from, from hookah at Rose Bar. Yeah, that shit just touches you instantly. Your skin yeah, it's off, like, like gone. It's like it's a permanent scar. Yeah. So there was that time, and then there was a time when I was in Guam when I went out for New Year's Eve. Well, I didn't go. I didn't go out. I didn't make it out, guys. I got so drunk that I tried to dive into a bathtub, and I didn't even make it out that night. And then there was the time that I didn't make it to the bar, and I fell asleep in a what is it like a lawn? Like there was like a church right across from the street from the bar, and literally my friends just like saw me like in the grass. Yeah. I was just chilling. That's the thing I love about Guam, guys. Is like when I was in Guam, I could literally be like, just leave me here. Like, nothing's like gonna happen. I'm taller than like half the people on that island, so I'm not worried. Like one time I was back there for a TDY, and me and my friend Michelle and my my Navy EOD friends, we all went out and I drank this fishbowl thing. And they were like, let's go get fried rice. And it was literally, I just remember laying on my face in an alley. And my friend Brody was, was really like, insane. yeah, my friend Brody, <laughs> like my friend Michelle's like, she's fine. <laughs> and then my other friend was like, we're all like going to this restaurant. And my poor friend Brody, he's like 6'4", like huge dude. And he's like trying to help me. And I was like, just leave me here. I was like, bro, just pick me. Sacrifice me. I was like, he's like, we can't leave her here, guys. I was like, yes, you can. It's drizzling rain. And I'm so drunk. I was like, just leave me here. And then I woke up the next day in the same clothes that I was wearing. Oh, and I had no idea how I got into my hotel room. I mean, I kind of, I've never blacked out, but, you know. I never black out. I don't ever black out. I always, no matter how drunk I get, I always remember what is going on, which I think that's a great thing. Yeah. Because, because I'm like, I would be very terrified. Me, like, I would be very terrified to, like, I ever black wake out. up and be like, what is happening? Yeah, like, that One time so I woke scary. up naked in my own bed and I had no idea where I was at. And then I like rolled around and I was like, oh, this is how my house. Okay. This yeah. You like, fine. yeah. Well, I, then, so this night, I'm pretty sure I got roofied this night. Shout out to Emily and Daniel, my roommates for taking care of me. And the reason I think that I got roofied is because I could not walk. Like I couldn't move my legs. That is at all. literally so scary. Yeah. So I was working at this bar. Don't be, don't be that person. That yeah. Exactly. It's creepy. I was working at this bar across from the, like the street and we lived in this condo. And so I was like, um, bartending when I was in Guam and I was, I was drinking that night. They're like, they're like, we don't need you tonight. Like you can just hang out. I'm like, okay. So I drank and like all of a sudden I 
like my bouncer friend Oren, who also listens to the podcast. Hi, Oren, miss you. Um, and he was like, carried me to the back room, right? And he was like, nobody can see you like this. You're messed up. And I was like, okay. So I'm laying on the floor in the back room, right? And I realized that I need to throw up. And me being, you know, resourceful, I see a drain and I aim for it. And I'm just like, Bleh. right? So then, so then this gets better. So then Emily and Daniel find me and we're like, what happened? And we're just like, we've never seen her like this. So they're dragging me like up the hill to the condo that we lived in. And they're like, use your feet. And I remember this because I didn't black out, right? But I remember this. Like, use your feet, and my toes are just, like, dragging on the ground, oh and I'm like, I, like, I can't move my legs, like, it was, it was so, so bad, sketch. so then I remember them putting me in the shower, like, trying to, like, wake you yeah, up. and they were, like, a couple, and I trusted them, so, like, I didn't care, you know, they literally stripped me down, put me in the shower, and then I woke up the next day, and they were both in my bed, and I was just, like, what happened here? <laughs> they, were like, they were like, no, 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 no. They were like, we were honestly scared you were going to die. So we stayed in here with you. Oh I was like, gosh. wrapped. Uh-huh. I was like wrapped up in my blankets, like a burrito and it's Guam. It's hot. Right. So I'm so hungover all day. I'm like, I'm, the thing about me is like, this is why I don't drink because when I get hungover, I cannot stop throwing up and I end up having to go to the hospital. Right. So you all day. You that stomach acids at that point. All day, all day, yeah, exactly. Like I, my body—it's called cyclical vomiting. I finally, I finally found out there's like it's like an actual condition that they have to treat, right? They're like, that's why you never stop throwing up. Like you'll literally really hurt yourself. So all day, poor Emily, she's like trying to take care of me, and I'm like, my head's like hanging over my bed into a trash can, and I'm like throwing up, and I'm like sweating, and she keeps trying to dress me, and I'm like, Emily, stop trying to dress me. We live on a tropical island, and I'm sweating like. So there was that time and then, oh man, we were, oh, but anyway, so I threw up in that drain, right? So then I bartended with this girl named Lindy and she went to cash out later that night and she slipped in my puke and she fell on her back in it. So then I show up, then I showed up for work the next week and they were like, you don't work here anymore. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean I don't work here anymore? And they're like, yeah. And you're also banned. And I was like, you guys can't ban me. This is like the only bar on the island. And they're like, no, you're banned for life. And then, Damn. and then, and then like that lasted for like a week and they're like, just kidding. You can come back. And I was like, that's cool. Oh, I don't, okay. yeah, thanks. thanks guys. <laughs> but for like that week, like my friends were like, oh yeah, like we're going out. And I was just like, mm, okay, I'll just, I'll just be here. I'll just be sitting here doing nothing. And then they were like, we feel bad. You can come back. And I was like, okay. So that was, that's another drunk story. Um, last October I got super drunk with my ex and we got in this big fight down in D.C. Oh, this is so funny. Because well, you don't really have that many drunk stories, right? I have something to say, though. Okay. But you can go. Okay, so <laughs> last October, I went out. My friend Rachel was in town. And we, like, went out to D.C. This is obviously before everything, like, shut down or whatever. And um, me and, like, my boyfriend at the time saw this dude text me, right? And I was like, the, the dude had gotten me a job. Like, I didn't like the guy. He knew that. Like, it turns out he, the guy... The guy was dating a girl that he cheated on me with. So he was, like, scared. It was getting too close to home, and he was, like, going to be found out, you know? And so we get into this argument, and, um, like, he speaks, my ex speaks Spanish, and so does my best friend Sarah. So we get in, first of all, I had pizza, and he knocked it out of my hand on the street, and I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. You did not just throw my carbs on the ground. Like, I'm going to swing on you. Um, I would, fuck with my listen, food. I would catch an assault charge for I'm him. I'm not sure really about who would. either. So, so then we get into the Uber, right? And like I said, I really don't get messed up. Like I'm 27. Like I probably have like seven or eight really like drunk stories, you know? And, um, so then he's like, I could tell they were like my friends sticking up for me. And she's like, she's, she's drunk. Like she's not, you know, whatever. And like you started a fight with her. And then they start talking about me in Spanish. And I was like, oh. That's the worst when someone talks about he you. He was like, talks shit about you I'm going to do my face. He was like, e pero todo se pira. E todo me da, da, da. And I'm just like, all right, I'm drunk. And she's like, she's like, e pero que son, e pero que todo se pira. And I'm just like, I'm like, I know she's sticking up for me right now. He's like, da, 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 da. and I'm like, okay, cool. So I get out of the car, right? Uh, I get, so I'm just like, I don't know what came over me. I don't even care. It's not my problem. He had to deal with it. So I open the car door and I'm wearing a light and I just get out and I start walking and I was like, just shut the door. 
And so then, like, we started walking down the road. I started walking down the road, and all I'm just like, ha, 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 got away from him. And all of a sudden, I see this huge dude come out of nowhere uh, right, yeah, no. right in front of me. And I'm like, who is this very large man that looks just like my boyfriend? And he was like, get back in the car now. And I was just like, <laughs> fuck. So then I get back in the car. We get home. Oh my God. We start bickering outside my apartment building. I'm like throwing up in a bush. And he acted like he was going to leave me there, but he didn't because he loves me. And he probably still does. And um, so then like I get back upstairs and we we're still arguing. And then... I remember that I locked myself in the bathroom and then the next morning I like found one of my hair extensions in there and I was just like, wow, this is super rough. And then, you know, he went through my phone and he was like blocking people, whatever, blah, blah. But you know, the moral of the story is that I'm, I'm an angel and I don't deserve that. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, that was a drunk story. Um, what were you going to say? The main thing, like, like, I don't really be having drunk stories like that. Cause I feel like, like I said, like, I feel like I remember a lot of stuff. I don't be... I usually don't be getting too crazy. Like, I can actually, like, stomach lock shots most of the time. I can't. My tolerance has gone down since the club took close. But, um, honestly, I feel like I'm, like, the person who experiences people have their drunk stories. Like, I, I, I'll be the one taking care of my friends. Like, if they, I mean, I'm going to record you if you're barfing and send it to you later in the morning. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, most of the time, I'm, I'm going to be taking care of people. One other thing I had to add on this was, like, also, like, because I have worked in the nightlife before, um, I was like bartending, cocktail waitress, saying whatever. One thing I have to say is if if you out here in the club and stuff, and you like you know you flexing with these bottles, and you better shit, be tipping. You better fucking be tipping. <laughs> like, I hate that. I hate don't hate come that. to the fucking club and you think you like some hot shit. You wear your you wear your little Cartiers. You got your your Prada, whatever the fuck on. You better be tipping your waitresses, your bartenders, whatever the case is, because you better use be, a dub if you Listen, not, you but. better be tipping. Like, these people are working, and, like, I've, I've worked in industries where people tip and stuff like that, and that really changed my mindset. And, like, I, I don't care if I buy a drink. If I buy a $10 drink, I'm usually leaving, like, a $4 tip. Or like at least a three dollar yeah, tip. Just like, tip. Like, like, like give a dollar. Like, just give something. Like yeah. Like no, you no, should not be out here. If you like, can't be tipping, you shouldn't even be out to begin with. To yeah. Be like honest. obviously, like, bro. Like, like I get people got to eat and stuff like that, but you're out drinking with your friends you're and you're, leisure you're, you're, you're buying activity, you're buying yeah. bottles and stuff like that. Like you need to be tipping because these people are living on these like you know if they're even yeah. getting paid. It's out, just trifling. Like, like y'all are really out yeah, here. Yeah. Like stop flexing. Yeah. So you can't even stop. flex with your yeah, exactly. With the bartender stop or with flexing the, yeah. because guess what? She's looking at your tab and she knows that you're. And every single time you walk in, everybody fucking hates you. We act like we like you, but we really hate and you. And you're not gonna get good service. You're like get, you're not. We're gonna like, your fucking drink. No, we're not. I'm like we're yes, gonna, we are. No, like, yes, we are. <laughs> like, we're not. Yes, we are. Like we're gonna do the nasty shit. Like. First of all, if you think, like, because you come in and you buy a bunch of bottles, like, that these people are going to treat you well, no, they're going to be like, that guy doesn't tip. And then, like, and then, you, wonder, then you wonder why they're busy with other tables and they're taking their time getting back to you because guess what? These other customers are tipping them and stuff like that and, like... Yeah. And we're not they, just stingy people, like... No, yeah. You but this is, this is our livelihood. Like, this is some people's livelihood. So, like, you really got to, like, you really, in general, if you're really going to be out here, like, you got to be, like, tipping for, like, services... All that other BS. Listen, if you want to be a baller, okay, if you want to be a baller shot caller, if you want to be, if you want to be a bad bitch, like we talk about on here, you want to be the man, guess what? One, it starts with your mentality, and two, it starts with how you treat other people. Mm -hmm. And that's in every facet of your life, okay? So if you're a bad bitch, like, I'm a bad bitch, so guess what? I'm not about to go out and not be tipping the people that are helping me. I'm, you're polite to wait staff, like, you're not, you're not causing problems, you're not causing a scene, like... That's now, it's a different story if you are not getting good service at all. Yeah, it's different, yeah. But right. if you, if they're doing at least the minimum and they're giving you what you got, like what you need, all that stuff, you should be tipping. Or but for exponential service, for exponential service, like, I, I will definitely tip extra. Exactly. Like, so. At the end of the day, like, just uh, please, please be courteous and, and tip. And then we were also just, I think we're running, are we running? time but um we're gonna talk about other stuff next time obviously that we come back but um easy skin hacks real quick we've got like two minutes easy skin hacks um if you are having trouble with your skin and you feel like it's really um if you don't find a balance with your skin you feel like sometimes it's too dry or sometimes it's too oily try using jojoba oil or jojoba whatever the fuck mm-hmm. however you say it mm-hmm. jojoba oil is great for your for your skin castor oil you can actually put really it on your good. face castor oil is the best thing you can put on your hair. Um, it's 
super nourishing. Yep. Um, stop I using makeup yourself. wipes. I've heard they're not actually great for your skin. My cellular water is better. It never clean, it never fully cleans the makeup off your mm-hmm. face. Never I does. use, um, I use my cellular water. I have a face wash. Um, I like to use castor oil. It's really good for like a lot of different skin conditions. And I'll yes. put something like lavender oil in it. Lavender oil and castor oil will help with redness. Um, girls, do your research. Stop buying these products that are super expensive. Like you don't have to. I mean, I'm not going to try things, try things out, try, try, try a small sample of something like you, there's things that you can do that are not crazy expensive. And also a lot of people ask about like drink the the trend trend of, um, uh, like ponytails and like long hair and stuff like that. If you want to find like some dope ass, like ponytails, like real hair or fake hair, go to Bellamy or Zala. Mm -hmm. Those are some fire ass hair care brands. Um, I haven't used their products, but like their actual hair, if you want to like you know how those like long ass Instagram ponies, mm-hmm. like, and like stop, braids, stop, stop bleaching your hair when you know your hair can't take it. Like yes. things like that. Or go to someone We're gonna do a whole other episode on beauty hacks, but like guys, you're you you know when your body can't take it. You know you know when your hair is in bad shape. You know stop washing your hair every day. That's a huge thing. Girls still do that. You should not be washing your hair every day. Like unless your hair gets freaking so greasy. Yeah. At the end of the day, then maybe wash your hair every day. But if you Nah, like, I mean, I feel like, but you can, you, can train, you can train your hair too, but like, that's like a whole other episode. We're, I think we'll do our next episode on like beauty hacks and stuff that we've learned. But anyway, we love you guys. Uh, stay off the streets, girl. Uh, stop washing your hair every day. Um, go to a health food store and get yourself some castor oil because there's a whole bunch of uses for it. Um, clean your house. Um, charge your phone. Charge your phone. Don't be, don't be out here hoeing in the streets, you know, love yourself, respect yourself, uh, stop texting that man back so quickly and vice versa. Um, we love you guys like, uh, follow, subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Okay. Bye. Adios.